Have you been looking for easy ways to make money online? Welcome to eCash Society. Bitcoin talk, mining rig tutorials, and paying smartphone applications all in one location. Mr. eCash back with another video for you guys. And today we have another Phone Farmers Unite submission we're about to take a look at. And I will say that I have watched this video all the way through. Man, I, I, I thought it was really awesome checking out your monitor setup. That was fantastic. I, I really, I got a kick out of this entire video. One thing I'd like to ask you though, man, is if in this video, maybe you could comment down below your routine and like the applications that you normally use, apps and websites. I noticed that you have, you focused on having a website routine, at least from what I can tell as far as how many Windows devices that you actually have. Um, so if you're focusing on a, a website routine, I feel like that's an area that a lot of people, they don't have that much information for. Now, with that being said, I want to explain to you guys why I am recording right here. The reason I'm doing that is because I wanted you guys to check out what is going to be the area that I'll be recording for all of my tech and product reviews. I wanted you guys to see where I'll be, have kind of like a, a look at you know the inside look of what's coming and what's along the way here I told you guys I'm getting the autonomous desk if you don't know what that is it's a smart desk to some extent I feel like there's smarter desks that are out there but it is an electronic desk it's motorized it goes up and down with the touch of a button so whenever I do these product reviews that is the surface that you'll get to see everything on and I have accumulated a large list of things that I'm about to purchase I also have I built up around like $400 in Amazon gift cards to kind of bump down the price of what I'm about to spend on just a multitude of different things. I'm thinking about possibly getting the 2080 Ti. If you guys know about the recent graphics cards that were launched from Nvidia, I'm thinking about possibly getting one of those. I have a computer case that I'm looking at. There's so many different things that I could do. There's so many directions I could branch out towards. I just don't really know what I should do overall. But before I take up any more of your all's time, I'll, uh, I'll shoot out a shout out to you once again, man. I'll say thank you uh, for submitting to the channel. If any of you guys would like to submit your phone farms or if you have a tech setup or a mining setup that you'd like to submit to the channel, I'd love to get it up on the channel. Um, but that's it. Let's, let's take a look at this, uh, this phone farm. All right, so here we go, guys. We're going to hop right into it right now. Okay, I wanted to do a quick video of the farm that I have set up and the tripod set up and then the uh the magnets that i kind of use to to place these phones uh it works with actually pretty well i just used these uh strip magnets just kind of used a silicone to stick them on there just because the adhesive that came with them wasn't going to be strong enough so uh, yeah, and then I put these all on Mr. P. Cash's channel just to kind of give tribute to him right now while I submit this video. And I have this giant whiteboard in the background. And I got this set up to do the tripod. I got all the cords kind of hidden behind the, the whiteboard. But then as you can see, I don't know if I'll be able to get this into the exact field of vision here. But I'm wanting you, to, you guys to kind of see how I can tilt it here. And uh, and kind of be able to work with it any way that I that I feel uh, fit. So anyway, uh, yeah. So then I got also have like a, a little setup going here. Um, I got a monitor here that I kind of do some testing with these laptops I have on an HDMI switch when I need to. And uh, this one here is a Chromebook. I got this Acer. Uh, it's i3 Acer. It's got a pretty decent sized monitor. Uh, this one's also an A3. I mean, an i3 uh, Acer. Um, it's a little bit smaller, but it's actually pretty nice. So, uh, and then I got the monitors kind of set up here. They're they're on kind of a a swivel here, and you can position them any way that you want. And also just kind of load with that. I haven't uh, registered. I take on so many different projects that. Uh, I haven't really had time yet to to get that. Then I also had a an i5 uh, processor uh, desktop computer up there, and uh, my Hakko uh, soldering station and uh, ultrasonic cleaner, my label uh, Dymo label maker. It's a lifesaver. 
And I also have here, I have uh, some of these um, Android TV boxes. They work pretty well. I, I just, I don't have them hooked up right now. Just kind of moving things around. I'm trying to get everything to be fun more functional. Uh, I just came across this nice uh, solar uh, keyboard here. So that should be fun to not have to worry about batteries anymore. But And then I have some other stuff here. I just came across this too, this uh, nice 360 thing. Who knows, maybe I'll set that up in the in the lab here. and. Uh, this still needs FRP, of course, and uh, I got a wireless charger there, and I have uh, my thing for hard drives to back up hard drive. Just makes it easy, so you can just set a hard drive in there if you need to work on anything. Then I have this nice microphone that I also came across, pretty much brand new. All this stuff, I mean, some stuff you just come across and it's brand new still, so. Uh, it's been fun, so, oh, and I also have this, uh, this is a touch screen, uh, um, I think it's Fujitsu, uh, Lifebook, and uh, uh, then I have this HP, I think it is HP, it's a, um, it, or no, I think it might be Acer, or I'm not sure exactly, but I know it's the Atom processor, that's what I wanted to say. So, and then, I, oh, and then I also have this Lenovo um, tablet here, which is uh, actually really nice, it, it, it just runs all the time, it never crashes and it's fun <laughs> well thank you mr ecash and i uh, hope you guys enjoy uh look forward to maybe uh entering some more of the the updated uh, progress as it comes along thank you all right so i'll say i would definitely love to have an update from you man whenever you have everything laid out how you kind of have it planned out i noticed it uh, you posted over in the Discord. I remember whenever you were talking about setting up this tripod stand. And honestly, I think that's that's a very, very smart idea. The conveniency of having your phones to where you can work with them at a different angle versus having them, uh, you know, to where you're having to either crouch over them. I've talked about that in other videos. When you have to crouch over these, uh, like a lot of these guys, they have their rack system that they have set up. I feel like... There's a convenient aspect to that, too, with not having to deal with phones possibly falling off of the whiteboards. Um, and that does happen. But but overall, when you don't have to crane over your phones, that's, that is the biggest plus of having everything set up on a whiteboard. I'm actually, I'm looking into getting some new tripod stands. One, because I'm about to be doing these product reviews. It's part of the reason that I got the idea to show you guys that area once again. Because I am, I'm branching out towards these product reviews and I'm going to have to have a tripod stand. I'm going to have to find a way to get my lighting a little more situated. I do have some studio lights, but I'd like to have some taller studio lights. But um, the one question I actually have for you is what is the type of monitor uh, swivel that you have that's connected to the wall? I'd like to know the swivel that you have and where you picked that up at. So that actually, that looked pretty decent as far as being able to move your monitors around very easily so i'm actually i'm looking for something like that for this bedroom i'd like to get a monitor set up in here i'm not sure how i would go about doing that with like i've only got so much wall space here so i do i need to find something very similar to that so that might help me out but also i do want to say that like i, I know these guys they they would definitely like to know your application layout as far as like um, how you do things to make money and also maybe how much you're making on a monthly basis out of your setup. That, that's kind of a big thing. Um, either which way it goes though, man, your setup is awesome. You put some thought into your setup. So a lot of people, they'll just slap these phones up there and they're just like, I'm ready to make some money. But, you know, there is kind of, like I said, the, the conveniency of doing this plays a factor in how much stress is involved. So if you can make it convenient, less stress easier to make money those are just my thoughts overall guys i hope you found this video to be interesting if you guys would like to submit your phone farms i'm still accepting submissions we've actually went back and revisited some of the farms um, that have been done here on the channel um, mainly because people grow along the way here they go from 30 devices to 60 70 devices and then they find new ways to showcase their phones or work with their phones so um I think that's everything, though. Uh, guys, I, I'm coming back with you tomorrow once again. I'm going to try and do a video almost every single day this week, so I'll be back with you tomorrow definitely for another video. And, guys, I'll see you there.
That's right, you've been looking for easy ways to make money online. And from here, guys, you can check out some more of my content on my YouTube channel via the links on either side of me, or you can head over to my website and start making money immediately with my website and learning more ways to make money online. And guys, as always, like, comment, and subscribe.